Welcome to Barlow Field at Fairfield University. I'm Will Alden with Game Time CT, checking in with the Fairfield Prep Jesuits before their clash with the Daniel Ham Tigers in the first ever Game Time CT game of the week. New season back. It's been a long time since we've played here. You guys got Daniel Hand, one of the best teams, as are you. How excited are you guys just to be back out there playing football? Well, we're thrilled to be back out there. Losing uh, 2020 was, was hard in a lot of ways, but mostly for our kids, our seniors that have just graduated, and for this group of guys, you know, you're missing a kind of a critical part of your high school experience when you've made the commitment to football. So we could not be happier than to be out on the field. You haven't been in game action in almost two years, and now you're finally getting to. You know, what do you think's gonna? How is you gonna feel when feel when you step on the field Friday night? Excited. I think we all will be. I think there's nothing wrong with uh, having butterflies, mm -hmm. but that sort of energy, I think, is valuable. <laughs> Obviously, with all the downtime. Now you guys are getting to play, the, you know, back on the field under the Friday Night Lights against one of the best teams in the yeah. state. How excited are you guys to be back on the field? So excited. I mean, we've been waiting for this all summer. This is the biggest game probably of our season, so we've been looking forward to this one. How is uh, how's the team come together in the early weeks, in your opinion? We've really gelled as a team. I mean, we really bonded, especially as a wide receivers group. Um, oh, we're ready to go. How excited are you guys to get back on the field under oh. the lights? Man, I can't explain it. We're ready to go. feels great. You know, we never stopped thinking about football. We, uh, we're, we've we been thinking about this game for two years now. We thought this was going to be our home opener last year, so we're just excited to get after it. It's going to kind of set the tone for the rest of the season. What are your thoughts? Uh, it feels great. I mean, that's exactly what we wanted. Like, we went 21 months without a game, and it's nice that the first one's going to be the biggest one. So it's, it's been anticipated, and we're really excited for it. Uh, you've been through a few weeks of practice here as a captain. I just want to hear your thoughts on how your team's shaping up. Uh, even without the season last year, we look good. Like, there's a lot of energy. Everyone just wants to play. And since we missed our season, like, everyone has a chip on their shoulder, just wants to get back into the swing of things. So we're really excited for him. It's going to be a great game. Just starting with quarterback, uh, how's it looking at that position? I, I think we're doing pretty well there. Connor Smith is going to be a senior starter for us. A uh, talented young man gets his opportunity to play. I think he would have been in a position last year to start for us as well. Um, Tall, athletic, sees the field, good arm, um, and hopefully given the opportunity to, to do what we need in the offense, he'll be able to run the show, be a leader out there, and perform uh, and lead one play at a time. But I, I'm, I'm confident that he can do that. And uh, a little bit on the running game? Sure. Uh, kind of running back by committee right now, and that's really a blessing more than anything else. We have several young men competing to play. Uh, from different grade levels who've shown some really good stuff in the preseason for us So that was kind of a, a hidden gem So we're going to try to mine that as best we can in our multiple offense and to use those guys to the best of their ability But we're fortunate to have a little bit of depth there and uh, receivers receivers a little bit more senior laden But guys that we expect to step up and play well for us uh, one of our captains James Ira Poli is leading a crew uh, We've got good height good athleticism. Uh, I think we have Honestly, in the neighborhood of seven to eight guys that can rotate in and play and be serviceable, if not exceptional for us. So uh, we look forward to seeing how they can come together on Fridays and Saturdays. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, the big one for every program, the offensive line. Right. Where we're probably the least experienced, but again, that's not unusual for people. Uh, uh, the old line's kind of like an orchestra. you got to get a lot of people tuned up and ready to work together. Uh, again, they've shown a lot of improvement. Uh, there's peaks and valleys for everybody during the preseason, but they've shown a great work ethic and really gotten after it for us. So we're looking forward to giving them a chance to be out there and be successful when it counts on Friday. I think the defense can help us uh, because we have a little bit more experience on that side of the ball, and that's a plus um, because senior leadership will be key, but guys that can also perform under pressure. I do think that from a defensive standpoint, if we are disciplined in what we execute, uh, we've got good team speed, we can be very physical, and we can dictate, which is what you want to do on defense. What is your prediction for how this game ends up? Uh, we'll see. we got to play as hard as we can, and uh, hopefully we'll come out with a win. You, we want your prediction for what's going to go down on Friday night against Ant. Um Well, I know it's going to be a good game, but I obviously think Prep's going to win. 